What's going on everyone? CJ back here with a brand new episode of the Madden 24 St. Louis Sentinels franchise. That is right, welcome back. Last episode, your St. Louis Sentinels got their first playoff victory in franchise history. Boom! Boom! If you guys are following along this journey and are having a great time so far, please like the video, subscribe for weekly Madden 24 content. Now, the score of last week's uh, wild card game against the Panthers was 44 to 34. Uh, was not as close as the score suggested. I mean, we pretty much dominated that game and we pretty much owned that game. Kind of had similar vibes to the Packers and the Cowboys game, which. Wish the Packers and the 49ers game would have been like that, but unfortunately it wasn't. And if we take a look at the box score of that game, we can see some of these players that really stood out, really showed up and showed out in this game. So JJ Ford had a near perfect game, almost 300 yards, four touchdowns. But again, for the second straight week, zero interceptions. Bryce Young, on the other hand, had two. both of them to Kendall Fuller. So that pretty much sealed the game for us early on and allowed us to build a pretty much insurmountable lead for the Panthers to overcome. Now, this fine specimen of a human being right here, Dudley freaking Saxton, same stature, same height and weight as Barry Sanders. Yes, indeed. Google it. If you don't believe me, Dudley is playing like Barry as of late. 182 yards last week, averaged over eight yards per carry. I know he didn't find the end zone, but he didn't have to because our receivers capitalized on that, you know, kind of in short field situations. But Dudley, almost 200 yards. I'm seeing a lot of comments, a lot of Dudley fans in the comments, and I like it. We're getting fired up about Dudley, and I'm here for it. Terry McLaurin had a good game. Uh, George Williams had an okay game. Our receivers, it was pretty diverse. Curtis Samuel, Bart Burns each had a touchdown. Of course, that being Bart's first game back. And then as I mentioned defensively, it was the Kendall Fuller show. Back-to-back -back picks on back-to-back -back plays from Bryce Young. And he really set the tone early. And I would say he was probably, uh, aside from maybe Dudley, the game MVP. Well done. And I mentioned last week at the end of the episode, but how crazy is this? We have the entire NFC East representing the NFC in the playoffs. We got the Cowboys one seed and the Giants seven seed squaring off today, Sunday at 640 p.m. And then we take on the Eagles Saturday, 815. I guess it's Saturday here in uh, Madden Simland, but we beat the Eagles. We split the season series one to one. They beat us early on. Might have been the first game of the season, first or second. They beat us pretty bad, and then we beat them pretty bad the second outing. So this is going to be a you know, championship game, I guess, so to speak. Each team has one victory, and we are the sixth seed. They're the five seed, so they had a better record than us by one game. So things should get pretty interesting here today, guys. But I'm happy you're here, and a very important announcement. Before we get into this Eagles roster and dive into the game plan, I am starting something brand new, a brand new contest for you guys to get engaged in, to get involved in. It's going to make your uh, CJ Smalls Madden watching experience even better and hopefully keep you on the edge of your seat. And most importantly, give a lucky subscriber a chance to win something each and every time I drop an episode. So let me tell you about it real quick. You may have already seen in a recent community post, but I am rolling out an exciting weekly contest on this channel called Sentinel Sportsbook. No YouTube, this is not online gambling, so please don't cancel me. Before each episode, I will set spreads, overs and unders, and various player props. So be sure to subscribe so you can look out for my community posts. All you have to do is comment on the post with one selection that you think will happen in the game that's coming up. Only one selection per person, please. Once the episode drops, I'll put anyone who picked correctly in a wheel spin and the winner will win a $25 Amazon gift card or any gift card that you might want that I can purchase on Amazon and send to you via email. I'm doing this because I wanna make this content as engaging for you guys as possible. So I will do this before each and every episode as long as I am able to. So please make sure you comment your pick in the community post. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see the community post. And let's start giving out surprises here in this Sentinels Sportsbook. And wow, both the Eagles running back number one and running back number two are injured. Austin Eckler, who's the X Factor, will not be here. 
and Tevin Ford, the rookie out of Notre Dame, backing him up will not be here either. So Kenneth Gainwell, only other running back they have on the roster. And then of course, Michael Burton, the fullback out of Rutgers. So will that make the job for these receivers that much harder? I mean, there is great receiving core, Devontae Smith, AJ Brown, of course, X Factor, Devin Duvernay's here. I remember Richie James carving us up a couple times playing the Eagles and then Dallas Goddard is an X factor. So they definitely have the receivers, but not having the run game to lean on that might make things a little bit more difficult. Their offensive line is stellar. Jason Kelsey still here looking like he's going to call it quits, hang up the old spurs. He's a uh, dancing around at Arrowhead stadium shirtless with beers now. So it looks like Tra or Jason Kelsey's living his best life. Uh, Quentin Booth, the Eagles second round pick on the defensive line to go along with Josh sweat. So a pretty good defensive line and Jalen Carter, who is now no more Fletcher Cox here on this team. So Jalen Carter is the highest rated defensive tackle. Jordan Davis, though, still superstar as well. And linebackers are pretty good, too. Hassan Reddick, Devin White has found his way. Deion Jones, OK, former Brown, former Falcon, Anthony Walker, current Cleveland Brown. OK, and then Willie Gay. So linebackers are pretty good as well. Secondary is solid, but old. Darius Slay, James Bradbury, good players. Avante Maddox back there as well. Tashawn Gibson, he's also getting up there pretty long in the tooth. And then another Cleveland Brown. OK, they got lots of Browns players. Grant Delpit on the team. Jake Elliott, the kicker. And Marquise Madden, great name. The UAB Blazer, undrafted free agent rookie is putting the ball away. So this one think will be a little bit tougher than last week against Carolina. We are away from home at the link and taking on a team that is better than us uh, stat wise and also better than us record wise too. But can we keep this playoff push going guys? We're here in the divisional round of the playoffs. If you guys are fired up and are enjoying the St. Louis Sentinels franchise series so far, again, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you missed out on this Sentinel sports book, make sure you catch the next one. So without further ado, guys, let's get down to the link for more playoff football and get ready for the game. Nick Sirianni, who uh, many folks thought were on the hot seat after the Eagles fell to the Bucks in the playoffs in real life, but he appears to be flying high and in good spirits today. So can we play spoiler to the Eagles and knock them out? I mean, it's a pretty good matchup. And again, as I mentioned, the NFC, it's going to be NFC East division games for the rest of the playoffs. One of the teams in our division will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. Will it be the Sentinels, though? I know you guys all want them to be right. I sure hope so. So let's see if we can put the pressure on Jalen Hurts. And also, I see Kenneth Gainwell already huffing and puffing back there. So that does not bode well for the Eagles as they only have one running back on the roster. We get a look at our injuries. Brian Robinson set to come back next week. But many of you guys are telling me in the comments, and I got to say, I agree. Don't think Brian Robinson's going to be our starter anymore. You know, they, they say you never should lose your job to injury in the NFL, but we just can't, we can't deny what Dudley has been able to bring to the table so far as the Eagles are already faced with a third and nine and they got their fullback in Michael Burton too. I think it's really not having a, not having a running back Bam! is going to be a problem as Khalil Mack gets the sack on Jalen Hurts, he's on his back, he's on the attack. Don't make me come with the bars today, Philly, because you know I'm always equipped with the rhymes and ready to go. So Madden, gonna be punting the ball here in Madden, Marquise Madden, that is, and that was a quick drive. That was a quick drive. Nothing happened for the Eagles at all. And we're gonna get the ball already into Philly territory. That's a great way to start this game. So let's take a look at the general himself jj ford commanding this offense under center he's had a great season over 5,000 yards 37 touchdowns yeah too many picks but it's me there's there's gonna be picks like that's bound to happen everybody and their mother knows that and everybody and their mother should also know that i made the focus in this game running the ball outside with dudley why would i do that well uh, have you been watching the episodes it's been working this time it's not gonna work though as Hassan Reddick got off his block and dropped Dudley for a loss of three. And Quentin Booth, the Eagles' second-round pick, also goes down to the ground. Behind the sticks now, we're going to come out slant game, see who can possibly 
get open. Jahan Dotson tried to throw it into traffic there. That was not really the best decision, but I did not like anything that was really materializing downfield as Deion Jones gets in there, breaks it up. And of course, on third down, we're going to go gun vertical because the coach calls it all the time. And it's a very good play. So let's see if we can pick this up here. Don't want to squander this great field position that Philly gave us. And I think George Williams, six foot nine, man, six foot nine. I just tried to throw it up to him. Darius Slay gets the pass breakup and we are not able to do anything with the great field position that we were gifted by Philly as it's going to be punts with back to back, -to -back teams punting to start this game off. Trest way going to boot it. Let's see if we can get a good checkup. It's going to go into the end zone for the touchback. Eagles coming back onto the field. Yeah, it would have been great to capitalize there, but unfortunately, it's just not how the cards were dealt. But I still just think having that fullback, having that fullback back there, it's going to make this offense one-dimensional. And if we know that Jalen Hurts is going to be passing it every time, I'm going to continue to dial up pressure as Khalil Mack, I think it was, almost had another sack there as well. So we got uh, Jamin Davis going to be coming into the backfield on a blitz. And that one is dumped off there to Devin Duvernay for a nice pickup of about 9.75 as they are going to call third and inches. Not having a running back probably doesn't matter on third and inches because they could easily give it to their fullback, which they're not going to. It's going to be a nice check down there to Dallas Goddard who keeps the chains moving, the superstar X-Factor in this game. And just like that, the Eagles are marching. All right, we're guessing pass this time here. I do not think this is going to be a give to Michael Burton. Now, of course, as I say that, it probably will. No, it's going to be a check down to Burton, actually, out of the flat. But we are there to meet him right away. Kwan Martin drops him for a loss of two. I think we'll guess pass again here. It's probably going to be passes pretty much throughout the duration. Oh, how in the heck? Did Jalen Hurts fit that thing in there to A.J. Brown? He threaded the needle on that one for sure. Pressure was still getting to him. So I'm probably not going to go away from that. But looking like the Eagles may score on this drive. They are already in field goal range, as a matter of fact. And again, got to have eyes on Dallas Goddard. Another quick RPO. It's A.J. Brown again. Picking up about 12, finally. Wrestled down there by Cam Curl. But A.J. Brown and Hurts. And Sirianni's offense are able to get it down to the 16s. I guess Kenneth Gainwell's done. Aww. I guess he just said, screw it. I don't have enough energy. Kendall Fuller looking for his third pick in two games. Almost had it there. Remember, he had two, two of them puppies last week. Almost had his third and is in as many games. But just a pass deflection. That's all right. I will still take it. Some of our players also looking rather gassed as well. Instant pressure from Emmanuel Forbes, forcing hers to throw up the wounded duck. We'll audible into some zone here. Going to trust our zone defense to play good. Should maybe go pressure, but I'm not going to. Hurts rolling out. Need somebody to get there. And we are there. Quan Martin making plays just like he does. That was your defensive rookie of the year in this game. Not in real life. And holding the Eagles to a Jake Elliott field goal. I'll take it. As a W, even though should probably be, well, seven to three, maybe three to three. I don't know. What I'm saying is we shouldn't have punted on our first drive, but it's okay. Damage control, minimize the damage. Then it's going to get the ball back. But a good return from Dudley Saxton, man. I am liking what I'm seeing in the comments about Dudley. You guys love Dudley. I love Dudley. Sentinels fans love Dudley. Dudley is just the guy. And with him being so young, already being star development, he did get that in uh, was a breakout challenge. It was a breakout challenge. Yeah, he did get that in a breakout breakout challenge. He could be our future. So we'll come out single back. Going to be a little boot rollout here. Going to just check it down to Curtis Samuel. J.J. Ford needs to see a completion as he was kind of struggling prior to that pass there. Third and four guys got to pick this up here. And we're going to go to Samuel again, who's getting open on the drag. Curtis, Curtis with room to roam. Gets this ball just past midfield and into Philly territory. So we really needed that. I think we're going to stay outside run, at least for a little while here. If Philly starts to, uh, you know, kind of clue in on it a little bit, we may shift our focus at halftime. But I think Dudley can still get the job done. So we are going to continue to feed him. Need a good block from our fullback slash tight end, John Bates. Decent one there for a pickup of four. Come out shotgun here from the 45. Little tight 
formation here with uh, some meshes working. And there is Brian Burns. No, it's not Brian Burns. It's not Brian Burns. We played Brian Burns last week. It's Bart. Bart. I called him Brian Burns last week. Probably about 20 times. It's actually probably a lie. It's probably more like three. But we were playing Brian Burns, so that was that was uh, understandable. I can't be calling my man Brian Burns now. It's Bart. It's Bart, baby. It's the future of the future of the NFL. So let's roll out of play action again. Need some good blockers. I don't like anything that's going on here, so I'm chucking it out of bounds. Ford got his dots X Factor activated, so you love to see that. We're gonna need some protection coming out of shotgun, but it is gonna be a play fake. And Curtis, do you have it? You do have it. Curtis Samuel, he was a 1,000-yard receiver. I think Terry McLaurin just barely edged him, but he was still the dude. He was the dude last season. He was a dude this season, and he is a dude in this game. Getting the first touchdown of the game, we really, really needed that too, as Philly looked like they kind of had it going on the last drive. We got to keep this momentum in our favor, guys. I know it's still early here, guys, but could you imagine in season number two, Going all going from not making the playoffs. Remember, we just missed them by short and a curly last season. I think we finished eight and nine, if memory does serve. But could you imagine going from not making the playoffs to going all the way to the NFC Championship, potential Super Bowl? I know there's still a lot of football left to go in this one, so definitely wishful thinking. But man, oh man, a guy can dream, and I'd be lying if I didn't if I told you I wasn't dreaming right now. But in order to do that, we got to take care of business today with Hertz and this Eagles team that has no running back, but they have a fullback <laughs> who's looking like a running back. Looking like, uh, we sure Austin Eckler didn't change skin tones out there and get about 50 pounds heavier. I don't know. He sure looked like Austin Eckler on that run. Old man up here on second and seven. Again, got to watch Dallas Goddard. I see him over there. I know that's going to be one of Hertz's favorite targets. And you got to be kidding me. It's not Kendall. Say it ain't Kendall. Mama, someone stop that man because he is playing possessed. His new nickname is going to be the Exorcist. That is Kendall, the Exorcist Fuller. He has three picks now in back-to-back -back games. And I swear in that Panthers game, that looked like almost one of the same routes that uh, Bryce Young threw, like a little slant route. And if you know what? If our defense is going to win us this game, I'm here for it. Sign me up because our defense, remember guys, remember, we have the worst defense in the league in terms of total yardage. So if our defense is going to be the ones to win this game, no, Dudley, don't fumble it. No, Dudley. Somebody please tackle that man. Jalen Carter with the fumble recovery. Let's see if Dudley was down. All right, Dudley. Dudley's a dude. He's a dude. So something tells me the he didn't, wasn't even close. He did not get that knee down. And for all of Dudley's recent accolades, which not taking any of that away from him, that was a costly, costly play right there. Brian Robinson, we've seen him do that several times, too. Haven't seen Dudley do it yet too much. I think that Hurts was trying to set up a screen, and my God, that was almost another pick by Fuller. Don't know how the receiver was able to hold on to that, but hold on to what he did. So end of the first here, guys. 7-3 to three is your score. Passing yards pretty much even, and for the first time in quite a while we have not really done anything on the ground so hoping that changes here in the second hurts coming out pistol let's get jonathan allen or somebody to get past jason kelsey and get into the backfield wide open is dallas goddard we just can't let that happen we cannot let that happen we came out in zone coverage that was somebody's responsibility more pressure hurts staying pistol the ball is on the 36 and i mean come on man we cannot let dallas goddard get that open i think that i'm gonna have to just user control whoever is closest to Goddard. I think that's what is about to happen here. We're going to audible into zone out of our dime package. Where is Goddard? Where is that wascally wabbit? Cody Barton, you follow him. Please No, it's going to be A.J. Brown on the in-breaking route to move the sticks. Eagles got this ball now into the green zone. I think we're going to send some heat here. Hertz is coming out single back, so I could easily... See this being a give to the fullback, which it will not. And oh my God, we just got absolutely burned there by Devin Duvernay. What happened on that play? What 
what happened on that play? I let's see, who was I usering? I was usering Jamin Davis, which he was exactly where he was supposed to be. And it looks like did our did Kendall Fuller just get just get knocked down by Cam Curl? It's almost like it's almost like I mean they were in like the exact same space, Bruh. which you never want to do. And it's almost like a natural pit got set there. Cam Curl was trying to kind of cover the flat. Kendall Fuller got burned. Eagles are going to reclaim the lead on a pretty good drive. Dudley, um, gonna keep gonna keep giving him chances. I trust my man. He has earned my trust so far. And oh, nice pancake there by Damian Lewis. It did not result in anything positive, but I saw that, man. I saw that. That was the biggest pancake I've ever seen. That's like Denny's on steroids. Look at that. Boom. Damian Lewis with the power. You love to see it. Remember, this Eagles defense is tough. They got all these Georgia Bulldogs on the field. There's also Chris Rodriguez Jr. too. That's probably not a good sign. Now, just going to check it down to Bart Burns here. Break a tackle. I wanted Terry on the slant, but it wasn't there. And it was a good breakup. And now the question is... What do we dial up here? That is the question indeed. Third and five here. This is kind of a must pick up down, I would say. Don't want to punt it back to the Eagles here. So maybe Jahan Dotson on a little uh, zig route. Um, I don't like anything that's happening here. That should have been a pick by Devin White. Don't know how it wasn't. This Eagles defense is tough. I, I've played the Eagles now what? It's my fifth time playing them twice last year, twice in the regular season this year. Should have been a roughing running into the kicker from Tress Way, but it wasn't. And I will say every time I play the Eagles, their defense is stout. Now, what worked earlier was pressure. So we're going to go back to pressure again. Hopefully we can get some Sentinels in the backfield there. And oh, it's a broken tackle by AJ Brown. Thank God Cam Curl caught up to him because that could have been bad news bears. And A.J. Brown really starting to uh, assert his dominance in this game as he has a good number of catches. And I just saw also his X Factor activated over there as well. So maybe he might need extra eyes on Brown. There's the fullback. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Are we going to let freaking Michael Bolton, whatever his name is, not Michael Bolton. That's a musical artist, a.k.a. singer Michael Burton. He's looking like Austin Eckler out there, man. And uh, that's not a good thing. That The defense will fail. Get a big old F on the report card if we let Michael Burton rip off big gains on us. So please, let's not do that. Flag on the play. That should be holding, I'm thinking. And it will be. Okay, holding on the offense. Back him up 10 yards. Thank you, Grant Calcaterra, Mr. Uh, tight end. You'll tight end you. Thank you so much for that. And you know what? I think we audible back into pressure again. Got to watch A.J. Brown because he has been doing his thing. And there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Isaiah Wynn, the uh, offensive lineman, goes down holding his shoulder area. So that's not good as the Eagles offensive line is very good. And they just got a little bit weaker with Wynn going down. But nonetheless, second and 17. Got to find Goddard here. Always got to make sure we have a Sentinel in his general vicinity. And right now we do kind of. There's Hurts. Somebody crash on him, please. Hurts probably isn't going to fumble. Did not pick up the first down, though, so it is going to be third and very short. We're coming out zone, but we're audibling into pressure here. I really feel good about this, but I'm going to have David Mayo kind of run with Dallas Goddard here because I feel like this would be a situation where he would probably get targeted. What did I say? He just he went right. I went left. Not much I can say about that other than good job, Dallas. I thought that, you know, not having any running backs was going to make uh, life a little bit harder for the Eagles. But I'll tell you what, they're cruising in this one. Need a pick. It is a pick. It's Justin Hayward, our rookie from Miami. That was Kaluch. Kaluch, indeed. Hurts can't believe it. He's shaking his head. But Justin Hayward has blossomed into quite the star for us. He was a middle linebacker that we converted to outside linebacker. Or maybe it's the other way around. I always get it mixed up. But nonetheless, he showed up there when we really needed him. Thinking screen pass sounds good here. We are in dangerous territory, though, so got to make sure we don't 
take a sack in this situation. Dudley needs a block or two. He gets it ever so elusive. N'Kobe Dean drops too. So the Eagles are losing players left and right. The injuries are flying for them to say the least. And uh, I'm fine with that. Bring it on. Bring on the injuries. No, I'm just kidding. Injuries are never good, but. I mean, I'll take them. I'll take them. Now, this should be... I really want to audible this and street Curtis Samuel, but I'm just going to try to pick up the first down, and maybe I should have because Jalen Carter just screamed. Dudley's... This is Dudley's uh, easily his worst game that he's had so far as a Sentinel, and uh, I, I called the wrong play, too. I did not want to... Did not want to call that play... Um, I meant to press X and I press square. We're going to let this thing tick down to the two minute warning. All right. Coach is calling it again. Dudley on the screen. It's a risky call, man. It's a risky call, but I just feel like we can't. I'm probably going to have to change the focus to something to help my route running because so far it's not very good against this Philly slash Georgia Bulldogs defense. So maybe screen to Dudley could be the right call. I need some blockers. Dudley has them changing directions. Thank you. Thank you. Dudley on the screen is working. And you know what? We get the ball back after halftime. So I'm not in any real hurry to uh, to snap this ball here. Want to make sure we bleed some of this clock. And I kind of like Brian Burns right up the middle. And we'll have Curtis Samuel run a drag in case none of these long routes develop. But I think it is Burns. And nice pass lead there. From forward, we led Burns all the way to the right. And now Jalen Carter goes down. Wow. Philly's roster is just getting decimated. Putting Terry on an out route. I realize time is ticking a little bit here, but that is perfectly fine. And there's our tight end, Burns again. Okay. And wow. now Josh Sweat gets injured. Oh, my God. Philly, fire your athletic training staff. Because them boys are high. They don't know what they're doing. All right, guys, we are moving here. Ball's on the 35-yard line. We're going to come out play fake. Going to be looking probably for Burns or McLaurin, whoever wants to get open first. And it was Burns, but the pressure was just too heavy. Darius Slay was running step for step with him, but that was all, that was all pressure by Philly because had the pressure not got there. And they're double-teaming Terry, too. Wow. Um, Very interesting. Okay. See what happens here. Dudley um, puts you on a wheel. That seems like a good idea. Maybe you can get open. And I think it is Dudley. And oh, man. James Bradbury definitely was uh, bluffing on that one as he was totally in zone coverage. It's a big one, guys. Um, this is a big one indeed. We're going to put Curtis Samuel on a streak. We're going to put George Williams on a drag. Might have Terry on the slant. We're going to go to George Williams. George, you fight forward. Oh, man. So we got to take the points here as much as I don't want to. There is 39 seconds, but Philly has no timeouts. And we do get the ball back after halftime as well. So I just want to take the points. We'll tie it up here. Been a defensive minded game so far, which you guys know, I never have a problem with that at all. And as long as nothing crazy happens, which it's Madden, so something crazy I'm sure it is going to happen. I'll probably have to go back and do a poorly edited flashback to what I just said. But if we could just not have Philly score in 36 seconds, we'll go into the locker room tied. Last play before halftime. Looks like Hertz is going to go Hail Mary. So no P.I., please. That would be bad. Maybe a pick. And it is a pick. It's Kendall Fuller again. Just the icing on the cake. Two, four picks. In two games, he's channeling his inner Emmanuel Forbes, as Forbes did that earlier in the season. He had six picks in back-to-back -back games. But Kendall is really stepping up here. Teams pretty evenly matched, I would say. 10-10, pretty evenly matched in terms of yards as well. And there's a look at the NFC East, who is representing the NFC in the playoffs. Still can't believe that. That is a very crazy Indeed. Now, I am shifting my focus here. I'm going away from the run. Sorry, Dudley. You have uh, served us well, but we're going throw it medium. I need some of these routes to get open. And as far as I think I did defend the medium pass to start, that absolutely did nothing. So we'll continue with that.
And wow, that was almost bad news there, guys. I just got a message on my OBS that said my disk space was insufficient. Luckily, I caught it because I was not recording for a couple minutes now. It was, uh, we had a, like a six yard pass to Dudley and then like a six yard run to Dudley. So we did not miss too much, but I would have been devastated, devastated if I would have lost this footage, but not to worry. We're here in the third quarter, 10, 10 to score. And we're going back to Dudley on the ground. Dudley trying to turn it outside. We know he has the speed and the power stiff arming mofos shoving people to the turf that's why i like dudley so much man because he's elusive but for being such a little guy he also has some some power too i've seen him you know stiff arm some people and and uh, shed some tackles and stuff like that so dudley is the real deal now we're into philly territory we're gonna come out play fake here see who wants to get open i think it's just our blocking fullback slash tight end john bates Picking up six, I will take it. Gonna go to the secret weapon, PA Cross, single back X Bunch, nasty. Have not used it yet. I'm only gonna call it once per game, and I feel like this is the right time to do it. JJ Ford also has his dots X Factor activated. There's Terry with room to roam. Terry, can you shake somebody? He doesn't, but he does get the ball all the way down to the eight yard line, and that wasn't, did I say Terry? I think I said Terry. That wasn't Terry, that was Curtis Samuel who is now up to four receptions for 82 yards. And kids, if you're struggling in Madden and you're looking for a uh, overpowered play that you want to call, PA Cross, single back, X bunch, nasty. It works wonders. Now, I came out past, but I am going to audible into an inside zone to Dudley because why not? Dudley takes it to the three, but Will Devlin, our rookie center out of Michigan, Goes down, and that will bring in, I think, Ricky Stromberg probably as the backup. This could be Tutty City as we're going to go to Y-Stick looking for McLaurin as we typically do. And he's so open. There we go. Sentinels take the lead. Going to go up 16 to nothing, 17 nothing pending the extra point. But Will Devlin will not come back, which is never a good thing. So that'll give us a little bit of a cushion. We come out of the locker room. We put points on the board here in a hostile environment. Let's see some more picks from this high-powered Sentinels defense. See what Sirianni and the boys dial up here. Still watching Dallas Goddard. I don't trust him. I don't trust him as far as I could throw him. And Dallas Goddard weighs a lot more than I do, so I probably couldn't throw him very far. Cam Curl was able to limit the fullback Michael Burton to only a gain of one. So good start to the drive here. Hertz is now going to come out shotgun, a little tight formation here, and Burton is to his left. I'm user and Jamin Davis because there's Dallas Goddard. I'm running with him. Ooh, that was almost a pick there. Uh, Grant Calcaterra, tight end number two, was able to haul it in. I'm manning up here, manning up on third down. It's third and two. We'll see what Hertz does. All options are on the table, and oh, my God. That was almost pick number four. That was Cody Barton that time. Somebody just got punched. I see so many punches in this game. Uh, the little post-game shenanigans the EA decided to add into their game. So speaking of EA, Madden, Marquise Madden, the punter, is going to punt it back to Dudley Saxon, who I keep forgetting to take out of this kick slash punt return role. So I don't want him getting injured. We'll go back to Dudley on the outside. Test the waters here. Test the weather. See what uh, the good old forecast looks like on the short side of the or the long side of the field, I should say. Need some blocks to hold. They do. Sometimes Dudley got a couple couple of them puppies. And there we go. Now, how is it that I made running the outside my focus in the first half and the blocking was absolutely abysmal? And now I make the focus to nothing to do with the with the uh, run at all with the pass. And the blocking looked amazing on that one. I don't know. That's the age-old question that has riddled mankind for years. Don't think that's true because, you know, football hasn't been around that long, really, in the great scheme of things. So let's try Dudley again. This time, the right side of the field. Need blockers again. Need a juke. Dudley does juke somebody, and he does get upended pretty quickly there, but pick up a five on the play. The good old coach wants us to do. Ah, I don't want to go slants. Every time I go slants, I feel like it does not work. Used to be so overpowered in Madden, but Bart Burns on this little uh, sit-down route might be a good idea. Burns hangs on on the curl. 
That is exactly what the Sentinels needed. Do I want to go back to the ground game or not? That's the question. Eh, let's make them think. Let's make them think we're going to go back to the ground game. But truly, it's going to be a play action pass. I'm usually able uh, to hit Terry on these, but haven't been able to as of late. But, oh, it's got to be Terry. It's got to be Terry now. Cutting, turning up field. There is the good old St. Louis savior. Somebody got hurt, and it's Curtis Samuel. No, God, please, no, no. No, which is not good because he is our leading receiver in this game and he does not look too happy over there by himself on the bench. OK, ball is on the 17, four minutes to go here. We're going. Oh, my God. Nobody, nobody there wanted to block Willie Gay. Willie Gay just shot through the backfield like a cannon and dropped Dudley for a loss of four. So Samuel will come back. That is good. Uh, really did not want to be without him in this game and it was looking like we might have to there for a minute but no samuel is gonna shake it off and uh just be a sport about it be a real team player come back to this game george williams is open on the crosser there we go george into the end zone that was not the x punch nasty either scouts on her i only call that play once per game but george freaking williams the six foot nine receiver out of wisconsin Finds the end zone to extend the Sentinels lead. Hurt's going to have to figure something out here because now the Sentinels are up by 14. So we'll see what he does out of the shotgun. And that is, oh, another pick. He threw it right to Fuller. Oh, my God. Fuller with the hat trick. I cannot even believe it. Kendall Fuller with the hat trick. That is five. Now, remember. He is in superstar development now. He got that for being a defensive player. But we see Devin Duvernay there. I mean, it's it's a good route. It's wide open. But Hurts badly mistimes it and throws it right into the breadbasket of Kendall Fuller. Now, this is going to be an instant streak to Jahan Dotson. They are showing pressure from all angles. And Jahan's right there. I read it. Oh, and he shook his man, too. Jahan dives to the end zone. Welcome to the playoffs, Sentinels. We have arrived, question mark. Have we? I don't know. It's looking like we're about to go to the NFC Conference Championship against either Dallas or the Giants. I think I just missed that. No, I didn't. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Third down. Can we get the ball back? Philly can't do anything. No, it's A.J. Brown. No, that's about the last thing that could have happened. Cam Curl with the touchdown saving uh, diving tackle, but that's about the last thing that could have happened. We we don't want, look, 21 points in Madden, it's nothing. It's nothing. Well, I've watched teams put 21 points up on us in a quarter. And as we wind down here to the fourth, that's probably what Philly's going to have to do. There's our best buddy, Dallas Goddard. Psych, Dallas, fake Dallas, I hate you. Oh! Empty set here for Hertz, and uh, it's first and 10 from the 16. So, pressure starting to get there. It's A.J. Brown again, and he's going to score, isn't he? No, we stop him at the one. But A.J. Brown has been the man. Seven receptions for 129 yards, and he's about the only bright spot. I guess Dallas Goddard a little bit. Heavy pressure, though, coming. Let's see how Hertz handles it. He is going to give it to his fullback, and no... Jamin Davis is right there to meet him for a loss of two. We're going pressure again. I do not care. It might not be the best decision because all Hurts has to do is get one good read and we had a chance. Freaking Michael Bolton. No, it's not Michael Bolton. It's Michael Burton. Shouldn't even be playing in this game. So we're up by 14. It's not a safe cushion. I mean, it's, a, it's definitely a cushion, especially the way that... Jalen Hurts has been slinging interceptions, and our defense has been playing very good. Although that last drive from the Eagles, it did look much better. So got to just make sure we buckle down here and play some good football. We cannot go into chew, really chew clock mode either. So uh, we're going to need some plays, and Terry may be the one to deliver. He's dead leg, dead leg. Oh, <laughs> tried to dead leg him, but that's going to put Ford up to 332 yards, four touchdowns, and most important stat, Still still haven't had that key mistake, which if you watch any of my videos and, and you have for any length of time, big mistakes is literally like what I specialize in. Like literally, that is what I specialize in. Haven't had that today. 
So let's just put this puppy away. Nah, we'll just check it down to Dudley. I want it to go to McLaurin, but at the same time, I just talked about not doing a big mistake. I'm totally fine with kicking the field goal. I mean, the reality of us actually picking up 11 yards on this play, well, well, Dudley to the left, that might work because I'm going away from the blockers. And if a good one can just hold, which it looks like it will, Dudley's off to the races. Oh no, James Bradbury stops us. Oh man. And I, I feel like this is exactly what happened in the Panthers game. Cause I even said, I know it's not the sexiest of calls, but I'm kick. I remember, I distinctly remember that. Am I crazy or is that true? I mean, definitely crazy. So the former is true, but again, man, I'm going to go up by 17. Do I realistically think that Jalen Hurts and the Eagles can score 17 points in nine minutes? They probably can, but will they? Maybe. We're going to Tampa 2 here. We're going to shade outside. I feel like this would be uh, the time where Hurts would try to target somebody like on an out route. And no, it's just going to be a fumble. It was Diamador Lenore that caused it. Khalil Mack picked it up. And that should be ball game. Diamador Lenore caused that fumble who ironically is up for a contract extension so i don't know if we're gonna have enough money to pay him or not but he is playing like he he really wants that sentinels contract and now you know what time it is enter dudley freaking saxon now i'll tell you what here is an interesting uh interesting kind of hypothesis if you will Brian Robinson comes back. He's not going to be our back number one. I've already made that decision, but Brian Robinson is a power back. Dudley is not, although kind of looks like it at times, but really he's not. That's that's not what Dudley does. Um, so when Brian comes back, maybe keeping him in as a third down back, keeping him in as a power back in situations like this where we're just looking to kind of milk that clock and take as much time away as possible. I mean, that could be a role that uh, I could easily see Brian Robinson fitting in. Now, here is a time, and you see the coach suggested that I do this. We're going to go TE attack here because it usually works pretty well, especially if I roll out to the right side, to the left side. And you know what? Okay. <laughs> I was torn between running with J.J. Ford, who is not fast, by the way. My man has like three speed. He was also a little little gimpy coming up there, so don't want to see that. But I was torn between going to Ford on the run or targeting uh, Bart Burns downfield. And what happened is I ended up getting uh, sacked by Josh Sweat. Got to hang on for five more minutes here, guys. Five more minutes is all we got to hang out. For. Hang on for. There's Hurts. Don't do that again, man. You just fumbled on the last drive. Khalil Mack was right there waiting like a lion hunting his prey. I think it might just be a case of too little too late. I mean, they're down by 20 with four minutes to go. No real sense of urgency. It wouldn't appear. And finally, Devontae Smith gets a catch that's only maybe a second i want to say now they're gonna go hurry up here so I, I was wondering i'm like i mean come on nick sirianni like show a little fight remember your job's on the line at least it is in real life there's aj brown who has had a great game coming up with that one hurts will remain in the hurry up here so usually when teams do this to me they score that's like the madden ai formula for success, Leo Mack also very tired. Everybody's tired. Fatigue starting to set in to this game here. And these quick little checkdowns, I mean, they're probably going to net you points. I'm sure that uh, let's let, let's go blitz. Let's just go blitz. They're going to score anyways. So I just want to kind of have like a chance. And A.J. Brown, he fumbled it. Somebody get it. Did Oh, Kendall. Oh, my God. Kendall had a chance for the fumble recovery, but the ball, I think he was actually out of bounds when he touched it. But it wouldn't have been a fumble anyways. A.J. Brown was down. His shoulder, his uh, elbow was down. Two-minute warning looming here. Let's see if they get the playoff, which it looks like they will. And will Hurts make us pay? I think he's going to make us pay with his legs. Pays the price on that hit from Cody Barton. But the Eagles are going to make the scoreboard look a little more respectable. I mean... Two-score game, 14, two minutes. They're going to need to onside kick it. Uh, I mean, probably not a possibility, but I, I guess I have seen stranger things happen. 
Um, it would be very, very difficult to do. And they're not even oh, George Williams, the big man. Don't be trying to hurdle people, man. What are you doing? Raw play to Dudley up the gut. Then we will kick the field goal and get out of here. And we won't even have to. As Dudley is going to finish at, looks like, 25 for 96 yards. And we do have to run one more play. Or no, we don't. We're just going to quarterback kneel it to J.J. Ford. We're going to quarterback kneel it. And how about that? Can you guys believe it? I sure can't. Doesn't make me any less happy, though, as we are going to advance on to take on either the Cowboys or the Giants. And we are moving on to the NFC division title game in season number two in a year that was very, very up and down at times struggled. Yeah, throw that clipboard, Nick, because you might be out of here. Eagles fans expected so much more. 37, 24 is your final. And I, I, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I am absolutely speechless. Now, we'll check the stats here for anybody who played, who dropped their comment on Sentinel's sportsbook. Got to see what happened here. So, uh, J.J. Ford over 300, four touchdowns, no picks. Almost an identical stat line to last week. But look at Hurts. He struggled. Yeah, I know the yards are there. Most of them to A.J. Brown. But one touchdown to four interceptions. Cannot believe that. Dudley finally started to get it going uh, later in the game. But he was a workhorse with 28, 25 carries. Did not average four yards per carry, but almost hit 100. Philly had no fullback. Kenneth Gainwell took a grand total of one snap. A.J. Brown cooked us nine receptions, 136 yards. Dallas Goddard cook cooked us as well. Curtis Samuel was our top receiver. Terry McLaurin also was there as well, and they both had a touchdown to boot. And then our defense, man, this is what won the game. Kendall Fuller with the hat trick. Justin Hayward also had one as well. And Khalil Mack had a sack. He, I remember it was an attack. He put Jalen Hurts on his back. So that was very fun. But we are moving on, guys. Moving on. We win by 13 points against an NFC rival. A team that was better than us on paper. But maybe, I guess not having those two running backs actually did hurt them uh, a little bit more than we thought. Bill Devlin, our center, we did lose for three weeks. So we're not going to have him next week, which is very unfortunate indeed. But let's advance on to the next round here and see if we're going to play the Giants or the Cowboys. Let's see who it's going to be. Hoping it's not the Cowboys, although we did blow them out one time this year and of course it is gonna be the cowboys so make sure you guys tune in next week we are gonna be in the nfc conference championship make sure you check out my community post for the sentinel sportsbook and comment get involved you have a chance to win a, a gift card every single time you play that there's no money down it's not gambling it's just something to give back to you guys and let's have some fun with it let's get engaged in that and let me give out some prizes. But all that aside, guys, I had a blast tonight. That is going to do it for me tonight. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.